This morning's sermon is titled Heart Purpose, The Power of Resolve. Daniel chapter 1, verses 8 and 9. What stood up when I read these two scriptures? Verse 8, it says, Daniel purposed in his heart. It means he had made up his heart and mind about something. Daniel purposed in his heart. And so I began to think about, you know, how this impacts or how this applies to us as, as people. You know, and, 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 and this is not to, you know, condemn any one of us, but we all have been through this where, you know, we decide, oh, I'm going to watch my diet. And you only watch it grow. Right? Or I'm going to exercise or I'm going to do this. I'm going to get up every day and read my Bible for 15 minutes or I'm going to pray every morning or I'm going to be faithful and going to church or I'm you know, going to be part of a life group or I'm going to serve God in such and such a way. We make, up, we make so many decisions, uh, but we don't follow through. But look at Daniel. Daniel purposed in his heart. And in this particular case, he decided he was not going to eat of a certain kind of food because it was against his Jewish training. It was against his upbringing. So he made that decision. It was very difficult because he had to do it in, in, in these kind of situations. And yet he purposed in his heart. He decided, and I'm sure his friends were with him. They decided they're not going to do this. And they stood by that decision. The focus I want to talk about today is that, you know, how do we make heart purposes? How do we make these decisions, these resolves in our life? And how can we be resolute, relentless, and resilient about such decisions so we can benefit out of the outcomes that we are pursuing? But one of the things that stands out is in verse 9. It says that as Daniel made this decision, God put favor on his life. So there is divine favor that we can expect that to surround our lives in response to a godly resolve. Amen? So as you make a godly resolve, divine favor can surround or grace your life. On the contrary, being irresolute, undecided, being fickle about things actually causes instability in our lives. So let's answer that basic question. Why are such heart purposes important? Why do you need to make up your heart and mind about certain things in life? And not, you know, I'm so open-minded, your brains are falling out. No, you can't live like that. Why do you need to be clear? Why do you need need to have heart purpose for several reasons you know for instance number one you could say in resolving not to do things displeasing to God now if you want to you and I want to live a life that's pleasing to God we've got to be people with a backbone or in walking in truth we discover from the word we need to be people who, who, who are who've made up our hearts and minds and sometimes you know uh, when we want to develop good and beneficial habits and lifestyle patterns uh, we need to be people who are resolute, people of resolve, people who make up a heart and mind about certain things. So it's important that you be a person of heart purpose. You know how to make decisions in your heart and mind and stand by that, live by that. Uh, when we stand for truth uh, in a compromised world, uh, we need to be people of heart purpose. In pursuing goals and objectives and dreams, you know, we need to be people who've made up our minds on certain things. So how do you make such hard purposes? Here are just some practical things, practical pointers. Number one is base it on the instruction of God's word and on inner conviction. Secondly, base it on personal priorities. And thirdly, you know, you base it on goals and goals and objectives. So in closing, how do we stay? But there are seven, six points here in the closing. So. <laughs> How do we stay with such hard purposes? Number one, like we said earlier, be clear. Clarity is very important. Number two, be committed to it. Number three, we draw strength from the Lord. And continued reminders. You know, see, we all need to be reminded about the Word of God. We all need to be reminded of, about the standards by which we live. Or we need to be reminded about these various decisions that we've made or priorities we've set. So set up reminders for yourself. 
consistency consistency is where the power is lastly talk about it to others to those who understand of course see it's something we can all learn to do where we can be people of heart purpose where we make up our mind our heart and mind that this is how we're going to live and we can live we can be people of resolve and god will enable us to live like that